Dr. Jones, what exactly needs to be in a homemade dog food? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what ingredients you need to add. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm having a brand new webinar called How to Stop the Most Common Dog Diseases at Home with Pet Food Supplements and My Selected Natural Remedies. You can click the link in the box below to sign up. You want to make your dog's food at home and you're kind of wondering like what exactly do I need to add? First, I want to thank one of the subscribers. You suggested like Dr. Jones, can you please do a video on what exactly needs to be in a homemade dog food recipe? Thank you and this is it. Many pet parents that I talk to have this big concern about not having a nutritionally balanced homemade pet food recipe. Rightfully so. I mean, so much of the information that you might read on the internet coming from veterinarians, it's gotta be nutritionally balanced. And many of those same people say like, when in doubt, feed this stuff. This kibble, it's quote unquote balanced. But in my opinion, I really feel that most homemade diets they're just far healthier. Like you're making fresh ingredients, you know what's going into it. They're not toxin contaminated filled. Number one, you need to start with a good quality protein, focusing on lean beef, lean chicken, lean turkey, including eggs that have a high quality balanced amino acid profile. We want the animal protein to be the primary part of the diet and that's the first thing that we're focusing on. For this video and often what I'll feed Tula is I suggest gra this ground turkey which is an awesome source of protein. As well I'm adding in an egg which is another great quality protein for right? the most balanced amino acid profile. In making this recipe I would start with one pound of the ground turkey and add in one to two eggs. Number two, the carbohydrates. They're not needed to be part of your dog's diet, but I would prefer that you choose one of the healthy carbohydrates, be it ground rice, potato, or sweet potato. I'm choosing sweet potato for today's recipe. And in particular, they also provide those healthy ones, some really good key nutrients. This sweet potato here, it's rich in fiber, protein, vitamins A, C, E, the B vitamins, as well as potassium. In making a recipe for Tula, I'd be adding in one cup of the sweet potato. Fat, it is a key ingredient and needs to be added to every dog food. The sunflower oil can give us a balanced omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acid ratio. Really important for just general dog health. Secondarily, sunflower is really high in vitamin E. It's one of like the most important antioxidant vitamins and you really need to have adequate levels of vitamin E in your dog's diet. A coconut oil is another great source as far as a healthy fat and it's also really rich in vitamin E. A general rule of thumb is you're adding in one tablespoon of the oil per pound of meat. Right, so we've got one pound of ground turkey, we'd have one tablespoon of this. Number four, I would add in additional omega-3 fatty acids. We're looking at krill oil doses of about 500 milligrams per 20 pounds of body weight daily. For this recipe, she would get one tablet. Ooh, you lucky dog. And we add that in after everything's cooked. Calcium. If you're not feeding your dog bones, you're gonna need to be adding calcium in some form of a supplement to make this a balanced diet. I prefer calcium in the form of ground eggshell. It's inexpensive and eggs are part of a recipe. So to make the ground eggshell, I'll rinse out my egg. I put it in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes. And there it is. Here's our oven roasted eggshell. And I grind it in a coffee grinder. For each pound of meat that's being fed, we're feeding one pound, we're mixing up one pound. You're adding in about a thousand milligrams of calcium. So that would equate to one half a teaspoon of our ground eggshell. After the meat, the sweet potato, the veggies are cooked up, then I'd be adding this. Remember what your mother always said, you gotta eat your veggies. 
Dark green leafy vegetables are probably the best ones to be adding. You know, kale is, I prefer and or spinach. You know, it's rich in many of the vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C. You know, rich in some of the minerals, calcium, zinc and potassium, all like key nutrients that should be in your dog's diet. You're getting all of these, including things such as flavonoids, gluten, and kale. And when I'm making something like this for Tula, I'd be adding in about a chopped cup, full cup of the kale, and I'd lightly steam it. The last big kind of overall ingredient group you need to be thinking about is fiber. I mean, if you're using the kale, the spinach, you've got additional fiber. Using the sweet potato, you've got some additional fiber. Fiber is one of those big key things that keeps your gut, keeps your dog's gut much happier. The fiber source I prefer is ground flax. Just so happens to be in one of my supplement bottles. I take flax daily too. A standard amount of ground flax is about a teaspoon per cup of food fed daily. You know, two will get one or two teaspoons a day. There it is there. You could smell it. You could say like, oh, smells so good. Then lastly, it's the vitamin and minerals. They're in all the things that we've just discussed. I'm gonna highlight the big important ones that really need to be in a uh, balanced homemade diet. Some of those vitamins we overlook. So vitamin D, high amount for an egg yolk. You're feeding eggs, you've got your vitamin D covered. Vitamin E, there's a ton of vitamin E in sunflower oil. You're feeding sunflower oil, your vitamin E is covered. The B vitamins, so important for healthy brain, healthy nerves, guess what? They're in kale, they're in sweet potato. Then lastly, many of those minerals we often overlook. Iron, there's a bunch of iron in the meat that we're feeding, also in the kale. Zinc, it's in our animal protein. It's also in our ground flax. Iodine, super important mineral to have a normal, healthy, functioning thyroid gland. What's rich in iodine? Egg yolks. You're feeding eggs, your iodine is covered. The last big key micronutrient that is often left out of dog food recipes, potassium. What's rich in potassium and you think of banana? You know what else? Sweet potato. You got your sweet potato in there, your potassium's covered as well. Last but not least, say you don't wanna worry about all that stuff. You just wanna sort of make a balanced recipe. You're gonna do some animal protein, some healthy carbohydrate like the sweet potato, maybe some carrots, some kale and you just wanna make sure are all the other vitamins and minerals there, <gasps> I have something for you. May I suggest my supplement, Dr. Jones's Ultimate Canine Advanced Health Formula. It's a complete multivitamin, multimineral supplement with a number of other key ingredients that I added in to help keep your dog healthy, naturally prevent disease. Thanks again for watching this video. I'm gonna put specific descriptions of all those things that we've just discussed. Then lastly, I really encourage you to sign up for my new dog webinar, how to stop common dog problems at home with pet food supplements and my specific natural remedies. You can click the link in the box below for more information and to sign up.